Prepare dishes, prepare dishes, and prepare dishes once again. What's up, 23% Nation? This is your man, Coach D. Today, I'm back with the Success Saturday video series, where here we talk exactly how to be successful while on the 23% Challenge meal plan. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and dive just a little deeper. All right, guys, so with all of my Success Saturday video series videos, <laughs> I always have objectives, meaning things that I need to accomplish in this particular video. As always, I have two objectives. Now, my first one is short term and it's called Coach D's Tip. Basically, it's a little bit of advice, a little bit of did you know, a little bit of help, a little bit of guidance. Now, my second objective is rather long term, meaning it's going to take a while to get this done. Now, that is to save one million animals. Now, 23% nation, I hear you. But some of you may say, well, Coach D, that's a lot of animals. Well, guys, believe it or not, collectively, we can put forth the time, energy and effort to get this done. Now, in a little while, I'm going to talk to you about which animals I'm looking to save. But please hold tight. Don't worry. Don't stress. I'll let you in on all the little itty bitty details. All right. So let's go ahead and dive straight into Coach D's tip for this video. And it is to go to the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store. Now, in previous videos, I talked about going to the produce section, shopping in the freezer aisle, and also making a few selections, if any, from the canned good aisle. And then I also talked about when you're done with those parts of the grocery store, then you can just simply walk on over to the prepared dishes section of the grocery store. So my intention for this video today is to discuss the positives and the negatives, the advantages and the disadvantages, as well as the pros and the cons of shopping and eating from the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store. All right, now here's the first thing that we need to be aware of is that the prepared dishes section may be called the prepared meals section or the prepared foods section. Whatever you want to call it, dishes, meals, foods, it really doesn't matter. Basically, they all are going to serve the same purpose. Now, please do not get the prepared dishes section confused with the deli. They are different. However, they are the same in a few ways. Now, the primary difference is that the prepared dishes section is going to serve a large variety of foods. Some are going to be plant based and some will be meat based. But of course, we're talking about the 23% challenge meal plan. So it's all about eating more plants. Now, when it comes to the deli, well, all they pretty much sell is meat, right? But we're talking about processed meat, which, by the way, is not allowed during the meal plan. So, guys, don't even try it. <laughs> now, here's something else that you need to be aware of is that when you walk over to the prepared dishes section, you're going to see a large glass see through counter. And the reason why it's large and glass and it's see through is so that you can actually see the food before you eat it and or make the purchase. And it also makes the food look very, very appealing. Now, something else that you need to be aware of is that the food is sold by weight by the pound to be exact. Now, depending on your budget, right, you'll be able to know whether or not you can afford the food that is served at the prepared dishes section. Now, 
Another thing that you need to know is that chances are there will be an attendant there to assist you. They will take your order, they will prepare the food for you, and then they'll put it in a nice little plastic container with a label, give it to you, and then you'll be able to make the purchase at the checkout counter. Now, here's something that you also need to be aware of, is that any food that's purchased from the prepare dishes section can be eaten during the first seven days of the month, which is when the meal plan takes place. Now, if you don't get a chance to eat it during these first seven days, guys, you can actually eat it during your maintenance plan. Now, what's the maintenance plan? Well, guys, that's basically the food that you're gonna eat after the first seven days of the month. Remember something, once the meal plan is complete, you always have three options. Option number one is to say, you know what, Coach D, I enjoyed it, but I really didn't like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and return to my normal eating style. That's option number one. Option number two says, you know what, Coach D, I really enjoy eating plant foods and drinking more water, but I do miss my meat and all of my other processed foods, so I think I can compromise. I think I can kind of go back to where I was, but incorporate more plant foods like you suggest, right? And then option number three is to continue the meal plan, right? So not only are we becoming a 23% vegan, but maybe just maybe we could become a 100% vegan. After all, that is the ultimate goal. Now for the rest of this video, I want to give you the pros and the cons. I want to let you know the goods and the bads when it comes to the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store. Now guys, if you haven't taken a look at the picture, please do. Yes, that's me. That's your boy, Coach D, right? This is me in Whole Foods. <laughs> this is me at the checkout counter, right? So this is me just simply giving you a very small example of what the food will look like once you get it from the attendant. All right, now let's dive into the good stuff, the good news, the pros, or shall we say the advantages. So pro number one, is that smaller portions are available. Believe it or not, guys, when you eat from the prepared dishes section of the grocery store, you are in control, at least when it comes to how much you wanna purchase and ultimately how much you wanna eat. Now, as I've already mentioned, the food is sold by weight. So for example, you may want a dish a plant-based dish that costs around $9.99 per pound. Now the question is, do I have to get the, a whole pound Coach D? What if I don't know what it is? What if I've never heard of it before? What if I'm not familiar? What if someone told me that they tried it and they didn't like it? Well guys, those are all possible scenarios. Yes. So here's what I suggest. You don't always have to get a whole pound. You can maybe get half a pound. Or if you don't want a whole half a pound, then you can just let them know a certain dollar amount. You can tell the attendant, you know what? Just only give me $3 worth, right? And so that's what I mean by smaller portions are available. Again, you don't have to get a whole pound. You can do a half a pound, a quarter of a pound, or just go for a particular dollar amount. Pro number two, the food is cooked by chefs. You see, a lot of times we think that, oh, because it's a grocery store, they may have some teenager or someone who's very inexperienced in the back making and preparing all the food, right? Well, guys, we couldn't be more wrong. I just came across a great online article that basically states that grocery stores are now one of the biggest employers of chefs. That's right. So guys, guess what? If an actual professional trained chef is preparing your plant foods, you better be, <laughs> you better believe it that the food is going to be cooked very well. All right. Pro number three, let's talk about it. Is that the prepared dishes 
food section can compete with restaurants. That's right, guys. You know, a lot of times people may not necessarily have the time to go sit down and eat at a restaurant, whether it's plant based or not. And so, guys, I get it. So you may want something that's a little quicker, right? Well, believe it or not, eating at the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store, primarily Whole Foods, right? It'll save you a little bit of time. Now, this is something that I was not quite aware of, is that the food can be fresher and healthier. And believe it or not, it is customizable. Remember something, you are letting the attendant know exactly what you want, right? So in that sense, you are customizing your own meal. Now let's talk about advantage or pro number four, which is convenience, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, eating from the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store is very convenient, and I'll tell you why. Number one, cooking and prep is done for you, not by you. <laughs> That's right. In other words, you have someone else cooking the food, remember we talked about the chefs, and then you have another person preparing the food for you. Remember, we just talked about the attendance. So now that you got somebody cooking the food for you and preparing the food for you, guys, that in and of itself saves you time. It makes it much more convenient. Something else. Now, I don't know if you've been to a Whole Foods lately, but I have, and I've noticed that they have actually increased the size of their seating area. That's right. They basically want you to not only purchase the food from them, but then why leave? Why go home? If you're hungry, you can just pull up a chair. You don't have to pay anything. It's absolutely free. Put down your stuff, namely your food and whatever else you have with you, and go ahead and start chowing down. And yes, you will have free Wi-Fi. So while you have access to the Internet, go ahead and watch another one of Coach D's videos or maybe watch a mentor or maybe a music video, whatever it is. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. But yes, guys, the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store is making it more convenient for you. Now let's talk about pro number five. And that is variety. After all, variety is the spice of life. Now, here is something that a lot of people don't quite recognize, is that eating from the prepared dishes section of your local grocery store allows you to try new plant foods. That's right, guys. Just think about a particular plant food that you've heard about, but you've never eaten it before. Maybe it was recommended to you by a friend or family member, or maybe you watch one of Coach D's videos and you said, you know what, the next time I go into the store, I'm going to try that, right? So maybe you've heard some good things about eating eggplants or maybe fennel and you've never tried it before. Well, guys, this is the perfect opportunity for you to try new plant foods. Also, you can try the same plant foods, but prepared differently. Guys, probably everybody in here has eaten broccoli and potatoes, right? <laughs> but let me ask you this. Have you ever had your broccoli and, po and potatoes prepared by a chef with all different types of seasonings, spices, and herbs? Probably not. So if you love broccoli and potatoes, maybe not together, but maybe separate, then just go ahead. Walk on over to the prepared dishes section of the grocery store and look for any type of special potato and or broccoli dish. And here's something else that you may want to keep in mind is that the greater variety of plant foods that you consume, believe it or not, guys, you're putting more and more nutrients inside of your body. Remember, one of the most basic things about the meal plan is that we're putting in more nutrients and taking out more toxins. And that's ultimately how the meal plan works. Put the, put the nutrients in, taking the toxins out. All right, 
So now that we've talked about all the advantages of eating from the prepared dishes section, guys, let's now talk about the negatives. Let's talk about the disadvantages. Let's talk about the cons. And that is con number one. Unfortunately, guys, people do get sick. Now, some of you may be saying, well, Coach D, this really doesn't help encourage me to eat from the prepared dishes section of my local grocery store. As a matter of fact, it may deter me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here just to sugarcoat everything and to let you know that life is full of roses, right? There are some thorns, so we have to be aware of them, right? So, yes, it is possible that you can get sick while eating from the prepared dishes section. Now, again, I did my research. Don't worry, the link is in the description box. But here's just a little excerpt that I wanted to read for you from the article. The article says, the greater the popularity of prepared foods, the greater the risk for food safety issues. Grocers are handling lunch meats, chicken, fish, and desserts. In short, the risk of contamination is much higher. Now, after reading this, I said, you know what? There's a silver lining here. Remember, we're talking about the 23% challenge meal plan that's based only on plant foods. Notice what they say here. They're talking about lunch meats. They're talking about chicken and fish and desserts. Well, guys, in case you haven't noticed, during the meal plan, you are not allowed any meat, any animal products, and definitely no processed foods. So when it comes to you getting sick, well, this reduces the likelihood of you getting sick. Why? Because you're eating plant foods. Let's dive into con number two. And it happens to be food may not be made in-house meaning the food may not be prepared in the back where you think it is. Now, this comes from the same online article that I just read to you in the last slide. And now I want to read another excerpt. Actually, I have two excerpts that I'll read. Here we go. In a study conducted by Consumer Reports, meals were actually made with packaged processed foods and only half of the food purchased were made on a grocery store's premises. Food may be prepared in another zip code and shipped to other stores. Stores don't promise their prepared foods are fresh or made on site. Customers may assume food is prepared behind the counter, but there's a good chance it isn't. The reason for this is that in-store kitchens are expensive, driving up the cost of the prepared foods. Grocery stores may even use bottled or canned products like salad dressing at the deli counter. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's something that we don't necessarily need to be afraid of. We just simply need to be aware of it, right? But once again, we're talking about plant foods, <laughs> okay? And so, even if the plant foods are made from a different site and then transport it to your local grocery store, don't worry, don't fret. You're doing something good for the body. You're doing something good for the animals. And of course, you're doing something good for the environment. Now let's talk about con number three. And that is pre prepared foods contain high amounts of salt. Good old sodium chloride. Now, guys, let's talk about this just a little bit. Here's what you need to understand is that when you walk over to the prepared dishes section, you're going to see a lot of options. And something that you may observe is that some of the dishes contain a lot of ingredients, right? Now, here's what you need to know is that the more ingredients, the more the salt, right? So when you walk over there, make sure you select items make sure you select dishes that have a maximum of two maybe three ingredients 
like I just said, the more ingredients, the higher the salt content. So try to limit your choices to those dishes that only contain a maximum of two, maybe three different ingredients. Something else that we need to be aware of when it comes to salt is that there is no need to add extra seasoning. Trust me, guys, when I say this. Remember, the food has already been prepared by a chef, whether it's on site or out of sight, <laughs> right? And so what that simply means is that it's already been seasoned. It's already been salted. So when you get it home and you are about to eat it, please do not add any extra spices or herbs or seasonings or oils or sugar or salt. There's no need to. As a matter of fact, one of the things that you can do, and this is something that I've started to do, is I mix the foods. So for instance, I may prepare my own beans at home, but then I'll go to the prepared dishes section. I'll maybe get a salad. And so now when I get the salad home, I mix the salad with my prepared beans. And guess what? I don't season my beans. Instead, I use the seasoning from the salad to season the beans and I eat them all together. Here's something else that you need to be aware of is that salt, yes, has its advantages, is that salt preserves the food's freshness. Now, remember this, when it comes to the prepared dishes section, honestly, the grocery store people, they don't really know when you're going to come. They don't know when you're going to buy and they don't know really what you're going to buy. But what they do know is that when you take it home, when you eat it, that it needs to be fresh and it needs to taste amazing, <laughs> right? Because ultimately they want you to come back to purchase more. So what that simply means is that it has salt in it, which is basically going to preserve the food's freshness, which at the end of the day, isn't such a bad thing. After all, salt does make it taste better, right? But now there is a bad thing because you have no control over how much salt is actually in the food. And let's remember something, guys. Salt does a really good job at dehydrating your cells, which basically means it's going to raise your blood pressure. So if you know of anyone out there who's already suffering from heart disease, maybe high blood pressure, maybe they've had a stroke, maybe they've had a heart attack, or maybe they suffer from congestive heart failure, whatever the case may be, please make sure that they are aware that most foods from the prepared dishes section already contain salt. Let's talk about con number four. Nutrition labels aren't included. Now, that's true sometimes, but it's not true all the time. And don't worry, I'll let you in on a little secret. Now, one of my most favorite stores to shop at, meaning when I go to their prepared dishes section is the fresh market. I love that place. For me, it's almost like a gourmet high-end grocery store, right? <laughs> now I go to their prepared dishes section all the time. And one of the things that I notice is that no, they do not provide food labels. However, Whole Foods does. So if anything, I would encourage you to go to Whole Foods versus the Fresh Market. Now, I'm only making that recommendation because I love and I know how to read food labels. But for the average person, reading the food label is not important. I get it. So if food labels are not important to you, then go ahead and try both the Fresh Market and Whole Foods. However, if food labels are important to you, then I highly recommend Whole Foods. Now, as an example, I am providing you with a sample food label from a prepared dish that I got from Whole Foods. As you can see, it's giving you all the nutrition facts that you really kind of need. Now, in a little while, I'm going to start a brand new video series all about food labels. So please, 
hang tight. I'm going to dive deep and we'll basically be under be able to understand and read food labels. Now, here's something else that you need to be aware of. This can be especially concerning for those of us who have food allergies. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are currently aware that maybe you have a nut allergy or maybe you are allergic to certain uh, fruits and vegetables, then you may not know that an allergen is in the dish that you selected. So that's the drawback of certain places not offering food labels is that you don't know what's in the dish. So once again, that's why I want to recommend that if you have an allergy or if you like reading food labels, then go ahead, go to your nearest Whole Foods and don't worry, they'll hook it up for you. As you can see here, I'm providing you with Actually, it's not a sample. It's a real food label from Whole Foods. And my last con, number five, is that there is no such thing as portion control. You see, guys, when you get a food label, the food label gives you the serving size. If there's no food label, then you don't know how much you should eat right? I mean, a lot of times we haphazardly get a spoonful or maybe a forkful or maybe several forkfuls, right, <laughs> of the dish, and we have no way of knowing the caloric content, right? We have no way of knowing how much salt is in there, how much fat is in there, how much sugar is in there, right? So it's very, very difficult for you to control the portion sizes, and here's something that you also need to be aware of is that if you are just dipping the spoon in there and just taking out a heat full, then the calorie content can escalate very, very quickly, especially when it comes to some plant food dishes such as potato salad. Right. So how do we overcome this? Ladies and gentlemen, 23% nation use measuring cups. That's right. So if you happen to go to a store where they don't give you a food label with your prepared meal, then go ahead and use your measuring cups. You can measure out a full cup, a half a cup, or a quarter of a cup. Now you have more control over the nutrients and the calories that you're putting inside of your body. All right, guys. So those were the pros and cons. Now let's switch on over to Coach D's low-term objective, which is to save 1 million animals. Let's talk about it. So recently, I came across an amazing website. It's called vegancalculator.com. And here's what they have to say. They say that eating a 100% plant-based diet for seven days saves seven animals. What? That's right, guys. <clears throat> seven days, you save seven animals. Now, isn't that great? Especially for all of us who love our fellow earthlings, right? So now this brings up a really good question. So Coach D, what types of animals are you looking to save? Well, guys, in a nutshell, I'm looking to save all types of animals. But allow me to break it down just a little bit. First of all, I want to save those animals that we consume as food, right? I'm talking about the farm animals, meaning the cows, the pigs, the chickens, the fish, the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, the goat, the bunnies, the lambs, right? <laughs> and then the other type of animal that I'm looking to save are those animals whose natural habitats are destroyed due to animal agriculture. Now, watching the movie Cowspiracy, I learned just how insidious animal agriculture is. Why? Because it's a two-headed beast. Number one, we're raising animals so that they can be eaten as food. And number two, we're clearing land just so that these animals can eat food, right? So basically, here's what it boils down to, is that animal agriculture is actually the biggest contributor to water pollution, air pollution, deforestation, 
climate change, global warming, right? All that good stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, to answer the question, what types of animals is Coach D looking to save? Guys, I'm looking to save all the animals. I need your help. Exactly 145,000 of you, 23% nation. So come on, hop on. And this, all this simply means is that you're going to participate in the 23% challenge meal plan, which once again is only seven days long. Now, I like to say the first seven days of every month, the first through the seventh. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the first seven days. If you want, it could be the second seven days, the third seven days, or maybe the last seven days of the month. But ideally, you want it to be the first seven days. Why? Because this is a great way to start your month off on a healthy foot, right? And also, it's an easy way for you to remember. So the next time it's at the end of the month, just prepare your body and your mind and your spirit for the first seven days of every single month to eat only plant foods and drink only water. 23% Nation, some of you want to step up. Some of you want to help, right? Well, guys, if that's you, then I got a nice little surprise for you. I have actually teamed up with Fiverr.com. And yes, I have my own gig there. Basically, it's entitled, I will create a seven day plant-based vegan meal plan specifically for you. Now, here's something that's rather interesting is that it's not pre-made. It's actually customized by you. So what does that mean? It simply means that you're only going to eat the foods that you know and the foods that you love, right? Now, it doesn't stop there. It comes with a nutrition report, a health assessment, as well as a workout program. Now, depending on what your goals are, we can do a vegan lean or a vegan bulk meal plan. Ultimately, the decision is yours. But guys, if you want to change your health, if you want to change your wealth, then go ahead. Click on the link. It's in the description box. And once again, I'll help you create a vegan plant-based seven-day meal plan specifically for you. It's time for our question of the day, and it comes from yours truly. We want to know, what are your thoughts about buying from the prepared dishes section? Is this something that interests you, or are you going to pass? Please write your answer in the comment box below. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. I definitely want to thank you for listening. As always, let's eat well, feel well, think well, do well, be well. This is your man, Coach D. Now, before I sign out, I got to ask you to please remember our three-word mantra. It's hashtag eat more plants. And don't forget to subscribe, especially if you love plant foods, right? <laughs> As stated earlier, my name is Coach D. I'm signing out. Always remember to take care. God bless and never, ever forget that Coach D loves you.